You love this life. It's the morning detail on the mighty CKT 90.3 FM. Box on other shit, but fashion is the thing. You guys have a fashion brand. First of all, nobody can get the hats, so I don't know what kind of cocaine business you guys are running. <laughs> People's like, oh, is it only hats? Do we have merch? Then, then I come last time. He's the only one in the sweatsuits and stuff. <laughs> so what kind of exclusive thing you guys? They're right. on. Then you guys put me on our next flex. There's a, a luxury line. Yeah. I just want to know, do the broadcast like myself, Tata and Vic? Do we have access to luxury line early, 100%. late, mid? Uh, what, what's course, going on? You guys on? get it first. Of course. You guys get the exclusive. One hundred percent. But I want to make the part right early. Now? Who's the flyest one in the crew? Because I'm thinking to myself, me and Tata had a clothing line. We will constantly be talking about who's the flyest one. Who's the flyest one and in the crew? I would be the flyest. <laughs> I think. Nobody. Okay, sure. It's a collective, that's man. That's that. I think that's that's a good question, but we don't look at it like that. As we're a brotherhood. Um, I don't want to relate this to anything negative, but like, we Ali put, says you're a liar. <laughs> I, 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 I'm the definitely you ready to the fly. Talk the things, bro. That's talk the things. Oh, ace the flyers. Wait, wait, wait. Is that how you feel? That shit. Yeah. That's you you feel like you're the flyers? Hundred percent. Okay, okay. This is not your guys' political episode. Do you feel like you're the flyers? No. Do you feel like you're you're the flyers? Hundred percent. Okay. And do I feel like I'm the flyers? If I try to beat, hundred and twenty percent. So. It's like, I but think- But you on your corporate shit right I now, think, you know? but like, see, this is what I mean. It doesn't matter what you're on. The Z is cryptic. So it's like a light switch. You turn it on and off. If everybody turns that switch on on the same day, then what happens? <laughs> then what happens? You got you got done bun through all the you lights. You, you got burned up. Nobody can Nobody can see it. No, like, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> It'll be the same politics as the yeah. 2000 thing. Yeah. New Year's 2000. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Everything gonna, gonna fuck up. Though. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's yeah, flying yeah. their own way. Right? Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. Imagine why even that old. You see what I mean? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that them times. But the point is, is though that motivation is the Z drives that in me. Yeah. I love the fact that A says that. Yeah. <laughs> And half the time I see him, he's saucy as fuck. And it puts good <laughs> pressure on me to sauce up. Yeah. I gotta start to tapping in different spicy. parts of my wardrobe, <laughs> spice it up, add the pepper. Yeah. Yeah. And and and, and you know the ginger to the and salmon and, and guac. Listen. Okay, so now so yeah. what we're gonna show you guys is age. So when we came up. <laughs> we're really gonna show you guys. No, we will when we came up, Vicka Talk Boy was cross colors, Dapper Dan. Dan. Full boot, you know what I'm saying? So me, I want to show John, people. Right sure, right Sean right. John. Yeah. You know, I'm a rock aware guy myself. We had G in it at one point. Mm -hmm. But I want people to understand you guys are not just fashion on you guys also have a history about hip hop fashion, right? So when I ask you guys, what were some of you guys' first inspirations coming into the fashion game? Like, well, what were some of the things you guys drew on? Was it Fubu? Was it Rockwear? Because the R with the W. See, I don't even know Vic's on the corner. Yeah, I can see Vic in the corner already with the Yo, W. That's a great question. For me, yeah, for me. Yeah. For me, I I have a lot of family in New York. So it was the Sean John tracksuit. Mm, the Sean John tracksuit. I begged my mom. Sick. I begged her Sick. whenever she went to New York to get me one of those. Only people in Burgundy had that velour suit. With the Nike right. headband yeah. with the Sean John tracksuit oh. at that week, right? That was my go-to. And that, that was the, that was really introduced me to fashion for real. And same with the FUBU, yeah. all black owned, by the way. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. guys know? But seriously, that's what introduced me to fashion. That, that was the Sean John, oh, that's a classic. You yeah. can't talk about hip hop without my. For you, the most inspiration. I, 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 I agree with what he said with the Sean John, but I also had a bit of Fat Farm there too. That's with right. the with Dang the jean yeah. shorts, the headband, but see, the -rag. <laughs> but, but see what happened with Fat Farm at certain point. I don't know if you guys had this in Ottawa, <laughs> but all like all like the trailer park white girls in Montreal, they like the Vernon Ticks, they took it over. But it was the baby yeah. fat, not not the Fat Farm. Though. Oh, yeah, they, they took they over took the baby fat. The Fat yeah. Farm when it had the cinematic view, when it was the thing right here. Yeah, come on. But, but nah, Fat Farm is definitely for, for me though. Fat Farm is definitely a staple, one hundred percent. Baby fat. Jordan's I don't want to see a baby fat. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, don't hate baby fat. Was nice. What are you talking no, about? No, okay. no, nah, okay, because you that. had the little coat that stopped no, there. Yeah, back. I had the long sleeve shirt with the button hole. No, but the jogging suits came down low. The jogging suits low and the jackets high. But then they wear with the Uggs. I like. They don't talk about enough about like what they say. Like these are hip hop fashion riders. For you, OG. Uh, for me, it would have to be 100% the Avrax leather oh, jacket. Oh, forgot about that. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the oldest in, in the crew. Joe Black right still now. got it. Yeah. Went all the way back. Come on, still got it. I still got mine, but it, it's disrespectful to wear it. It's, it's Tree X. 
Yeah. It looks we like I have no bit. upbringing, no bra <laughs> top suit when I wear that. What, it, what, it, what, were we, what were we really thinking uh, with the baggy clothes? I obviously think that. Man, what were we really thinking? Let's, let's, let's tap into your visa. <laughs> Where you guys at? <laughs> like okay, yeah. Only the, the pretty more licensed guys are going to go with the $300, $500 team. We wasn't right. getting your visa. We what? were wearing Morris Malone <laughs> when you rolled up the bottom, had the Morris Malone with the different colors. Yeah, we, bro, we don't, match don't, up with don't downplay yourself, man. Don't, 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 don't downplay yourself, man. You were the swag man in school, eh? No, no, no. He was the swag man in school. No, 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 children. No, when you met me... Hey, side conversation. I want to know what going on. No. He's talking about Shaq socks right now. Not even Nike socks, Shaq, Shaq socks. socks. And the Shaq shoes from Walmart. Oh, okay. They're in the Air Force. Yeah. Okay. Remember those? But hold on. Not, no, 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 no. I don't know about the Shaq socks, though. I don't know about the Shaq socks. Nike, yes. Shaq socks. I don't know about those. to the Z. The big transition. But see, but see, Justin and I question show the range in you guys' age. You know what you think? For sure. Like, you brought up Avrex. Talk about premium leather. Talk about ultimate drug manual. You know those eight ball jackets? That's Ever. the era. That's the era where we would get the true religion, the red monkey jeans. Yeah, yeah. I would go on a road trip and bring one jeans, the man. That's all you need. One jeans yeah, and three different shirts. Yeah. What? I paid <laughs> three fifty five hundred for them jeans. Yeah. I'm bringing those the, the whole time. XT, Every outfit around that. Yeah, let's bring that. Yeah. Why are you so grimy, fam? You came with the one material two heavy, everything heavy. We be better fix up. <laughs> talk to yeah. me, talk, talk to me about the Ibizu. was the one for you. That was the one. Man. You know what I mean? Paints on the back. We're all here. Yeah. I mean, I used to, you know Rich what? You know what's crazy? That's crazy <laughs> story. Me and my boy, so my boy used to come up from Ottawa, come to Montreal, and we would go out and whatever. One night we were like, okay, cool. We're going to rock, oh, yeah. oh, rock our stuff. We're going to rock our stuff backwards. Yeah. Right? So we had the Visa on the front. Is he light skin too? Yeah, no, he's not light skin. <laughs> he's a dark skin, so it was the light skin and the dark skin going at it. You know what I mean? Okay. And it was no, but yo, everybody was like, yo, what are those? Da, 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 da. And literally all we did is put the pockets in the front. And from there, it was my love of fashion. You know what I mean? That's where it started. That's where, it, you know what I mean? It's a, and it's evolved so much more from there. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. And like I had a fashion brand when I was in London. You know what I mean? And we, we really like, we identified as, so our brand was called One of One. Oh. So literally every single product that you got was One of One. Uh -huh. Right? So. Uh, and nothing's fire than that. Like. Yeah. Do you guys still like that? Like, I like the fact, like, in, even if we translate to you guys right now with the zero long talking, you guys don't mass produce it, right? Like, cause that's one thing I liked about certain hip hop brands. You were like, you know, at certain point, Rockware and Fat Farm, it got mass produced. But I like brands like Niskean, like True Legion, like Red Monkey, like where it's just, they only did a certain number of them and you had the, you, you had the little number there. This was 58 of 165. Exactly. Oh, oh. Do you guys, I feel like with zero long talking, you guys are trying to like, come back with that kind of vibe where it's like, now I like got Kanye where all the pieces are super expensive, so not so much people are gonna have it, but you guys are gonna make, this style, we're gonna make a limited amount of that. Is that still a component you guys wanna add to Zero Long Talking? A bit. The thing is, we don't want just anybody wearing it, right? So it's, it's no, 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 not not in a bad way, but in a sense where you want to wear it with a certain purpose, right? We don't want to have a bunch of random people just wearing it just because, okay, well, I'm just wearing it just because. Oh. That's why we have themes behind each hat, Ooh. right? Oh. So which one suits you best? Like, for example, he's wearing the white one, consistency. He's wearing red, lifestyle, mm. black, branding, integrity. You already know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And to add to that, I think, like, you know what I mean? To add value to the hats and to give meaning to it, right, gives people another reason, right, to buy the hat. Mm. Now, we don't want to put it out there to everybody, correct, until we're respected at the brand level we want to be respected at. Do you know what I mean? So so what level is that? Like, what, what level does Zero Law Talk want to be respected on? As a luxury brand. Now, we'll never charge our people that, but we want that respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll have exclusive things, do exclusive things until we can mass produce and have it in a store in every city, right? And until that point, we're going to make sure the important people, the people that are representing, doing the right things have it. And mind you, our website will be up soon. Because that's what I'm saying. Yes, yes. I'll I'll so I'll tell you though, Go ahead. Be ready. Okay. You guys have a, a female line? Coming soon. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Coming soon. We have Very these soon. conversations in our meeting. Not mm -hmm. everybody wears hats. You yeah. know what I mean? We focus on one thing and perfect it like oh. a major. We uh -huh. don't major in four things. Uh -huh. Perfect one thing. Yeah. And then move and on to the next. next. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why 
it has taken a little longer. I wanted to get into women's and stuff like that, but we do have a luxury brand coming for that. Yeah, like the I'm Z, like apparel I'm very too, protective know? over the cryptic message and how the Z, how I want the Z. Because when I put the Z on my dresser mm -hmm. and I stay out with my man Vic an extra hour. Yeah. That's not going to affect what I got to do tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. I might be up a half hour early just because I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the Z in me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that's what people got to realize. It's deeper than that. It's mm. deeper than how good the hat looks. Mm. I want this to be a cryptic message that people live by. And that's mm. why coming this year, we're going to get into basketball tournaments, youth groups, more of the community stuff, because we're going to be giving these away mm -hmm. right now that we're you know what I mean? Things are going good and we're getting that community support. Now we we, we can give back. And this is why we want to target. The themes are out there. Now I can go to a basketball camp and say, oh, exactly. this kid didn't make, make the team last year. He's MVP of the camp this year. Here's the consistency hat. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. There needs to be a market for it. So I, I agree with what you say with the hats, but apparel now. Okay. Right, because there's a lot of people out there, especially I I know like you know what I mean from the culture, urban culture, especially doing like hoodies and stuff like that. And the same question I ask them all the time: Women wear hoodies too. I love it. You know what I mean? We I love, love a good sweatsuit. Yes. But now I'm, they don't call me the consultant for nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you some inner gems that people don't want to take. Women want those crop top okay. hoodies. You see that over there? You have the zero zero on the butt in the sweatpants and the crop top hoodie. Some of the crop top that come up here, um, crop top, even with the get skirt, em, girl. even okay. with the skirt. Um, and you know, that's why women are going to these fast fashion to get those type of everyday clothes.